Hi, so today I want to show you how to make this double step panel card. Um, that's what it looks like on the side and it folds flat for posting. Now I'm going to do one that's slightly different to this. Um, this one I saw on uh, Mix Up Crafts. She'd done one like this um, and she'd put a step at the back. So I'm going to just, I'm tweaking this just slightly. Um, and so we're going to have a go with it. So what you need for this, uh, you need quite a few bits, but it's not that difficult to put together. So for the way I'm going to do it, you will need a six by six inch card blank. Now this one, um, the measurements for this are slightly different because this measures five and a half by six and I'm doing mine six by six. So it's going to be nice and square. Um, so yeah, so the measurements that she used will be different to how I'm doing mine. So a six by six inch card blank, and it does need to measure six inches by six inches. Sometimes you buy six by six card blanks and they're actually five and three quarter inch square card blanks. So that's what you need to start with. You will also need a piece of card that is, I wrote it all down the back, eight by six. Okay, and this again is the white card blank. Um, I'm going to score them as we go, I think, because I think it might be easier. So the 8x6 card blank, you need to get the scoreboard and you need to score it at 5 inches and at 7 inches. Okay, and that's all you need to do for that one. Score it 5 inches and 7 inches. I'm hoping the light's okay. I can't do videos during the day at the moment because of having a child at home with me. So I'm hoping you can still see that. So that's for that one. Now then, the mat and the layers that need to go on this. You need a mat, which is this one. And that one measures 4 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. And that's going to go on that top section there and then your pattern paper measures four and a half by five and a half and so that's going to stick down to there so we're just going to go ahead and stick this onto this mat layer and then we're going to stick the whole thing onto there so it's going to be in the top section up to the five inch score line so we're going to go ahead and do that now Right, so what I'm going to do before I stick this down, I am just going to fold along my lines. So the first line needs to go towards you, so it's a valley fold. And then the next fold is a mountain fold. you should end up with that. So now in this piece here, this is the top, you're now going to stick your matte panel onto your card. Like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stick this onto your card blank. So there's the crease in the card and this is going to stick at the top of the card like that. So that you end up with the platform coming out and then dropping down. So we're going to go ahead and stick that down. So that's what you end up with. So that's your card blank. And then this is obviously your extra platform bit. 
Right, so we're going to put this to one side for the moment. Your next piece that you need is the middle piece. And this one measures five and a quarter by four. So five and a quarter by four. And this one you're going to score at a quarter of an inch, at one and a quarter, and at four and a quarter. Okay, and so you're going to, the first fold is going to be a mountain fold, the quarter fold. It's only very, very narrow, so you have to be quite careful with it. That's going to be a mountain fold. The next one is going to be a mountain fold. And then the next one is also going to be a mountain fold. Right, now the best way to stick this on is we're going to put some tape on here and stick that bit down first. In fact, before we stick it down, we will put the panel on the front. Because if I just put some tape on here now, then I'll know I don't need to put my panel on that bit. I'm just put my tape on there. So I'm going to be sticking my panel on here. So for this, you need a mat, and this mat is three and three quarter by two and three quarter. And then my pattern panel mat is three and a half by two and a half. Sorry, five and a half. Is it three and five and a half? Three and a half by two and a half. And that goes on there. So we're going to go ahead and stick that down as well. If you've got right way up paper, or you want your paper to be a certain way up, you need to make sure that obviously this big bit is at the bottom, and then your that bit there is at the top. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and stick that on the card. So I'm just going to take this tape off. And all I'm going to do is take my card, position this centrally, left and right, and then when I'm happy that it's central, I'm just going to close this on top of it and press down and that will stick the base bit of the step into place and then I just need to put some tape along here and so we're going to put it on that dark side piece like that And then what we're going to do is, if you look on this one here, if you fold this flat, then what happens is that bit there at the top gets flattened as well. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to fold that whole piece down, so you can't see either of those two bits. And then we're going to fold the whole thing up from the bottom here, and we're going to stick down. So then when you pull this down, that panel pops out. Okay. Right, so now what we need to do is we need to score one more piece and then we can put this board away. So this is like a little support piece and this piece is what we've used here and just helps to support this so it doesn't just, you know, fly away. Um, so this piece is three inches by one inch and you're going to score 
at half an inch on either side so half an inch there and then obviously at two and a half inches which is half an inch in from the edge and this piece is just going to have both of them are mounting folds like that okay so now we've done that we can get rid of the scoreboard So now the only piece left to get is, well the only pieces left to get, is we need the front piece that goes on here. And that piece is six inches by two inches. And that sits on the front here, like that. And it marries up, when you stick it down, you have to make sure that the bottom of this section and the bottom of the card are level. Don't go sticking it so it's the way around. It needs to be level because that is the very base of your card. So I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on here. going to do the mat level so this was six by two so the mat is five and three quarter by one and three quarter and then the pattern piece is five and a half by one and a half and so we're going to stick those down now So that's what you're left with. So now we're going to take the tape backing off this and we're going to stick that down. Excuse me if my head gets in the way, but I need to make sure it's all married up. So, so as I said, I'm, I'm marrying this bottom edge of here up with the bottom edge here. Okay. And I'm going to fold it flat this way because I find it a bit easier to do it that way. There we go, so from the side, that's what it looks like. Okay, so it will stand up like that. So now all you need is you need some kind of topper. Now I've decided, obviously you can do what you want. On this one I had um, a little hot air balloon in the corner, a bigger one with a smaller one off to one side, and then this one at the bottom. But on this one I'm going to do things slightly different. And I'm using these toppers from Wellington Bear. I'm going to put him in the middle there. I've got two little teddy bear toppers. I'm going to do one up here and one down here. And then I've got a little sentiment which is going to go there. And another little sentiment which is going to go up there. And so that's how I'm going to lay this card out. So a bit different but... I sort of quite I wanted to do something a little bit different to what I was planning originally. Okay, so now what's left is just to add the support piece in. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on here and a bit of tape on here. And you could do with using um, red tape for this, to be honest with you, because you really do want it to stick well. <clears throat> okay, 
So the point of the support piece is basically because without it, this goes all over the place. So you need something just to hold that into position. So you're going to take your little strut that you've put tape on. You're going to peel off one side. And then if you fold the strut down like that, turn it round, and you're going to stick it just in here, kind of in the middle. If you want to mark midway, you can, or you can just guess it. You want to stick it about there. So basically it's in the middle and it's lined up with the edge. So the crease is lined up with the edge. And then to stick the other bit down, you're just going to take the backing off. And then you want to put the whole thing, lift this flap up. Tape liner. <laughs> lift it up and put it so that it's into that crease there. And then you want to fold the whole thing flat with that in position. And then that sticks your strut in place and acts as your support. So then, there's your card. Hopefully you'll have a go. Thanks for watching.